Prime numbers and divisibility shortcuts. Prime numbers are numbers that are only divisible by one and themselves. That means they divide evenly with no remainder. So, for example, 2. 2 is a prime number. The only numbers that divide into it are 1 and 2. 3 is a prime number. The only things that divide into it are 1 and 3. 5 is a prime number. The only things that divide into it are 1 and 5. Uh, let's back up to 4. 4 is not a prime number because there is another number besides 1 and 4 that would divide evenly into it, and that would be 2. So that's going to kick out all the even numbers. And also some other numbers that are not even are kicked out. For example, 9. 9 is an odd number, so it doesn't have a 2, but it does have something besides 1 and 9. Um, a 3 would divide evenly into 9. So for it to be a prime number, it cannot have anything that divides evenly into it besides 1 and itself. An important theorem says that every number can be written as a unique product of primes. To help us break numbers down into their product of primes, we will have some divisibility shortcuts just to help us break them faster. Our first one is if a number ends in an even digit, it is divisible by 2. So this is something you can just look at it and know, does a 2 divide in there? For example, if we have 784, we know that is not a prime number. It is divisible by 2 because it ends in an even digit. If we had 785, it would not be divisible by 2. Our next one, if a number ends in 0 or 5, it is divisible by 5. So the 784 is not divisible by 5. If we have 785, that's divisible by 5. Or 780 would be divisible by 5. So that would help us to break it down. Another one that I like, it's not often listed in the book, but the last one here is if a number ends in 0, it's divisible by 10. This helps you to break numbers down really fast. So, for example, if I have 780, 780 is divisible by 10. 10 times something gives 780. The other two, 784 and 785, are not divisible by 10. Next, we will write some numbers as a product of primes. I'm going to do this with a factor tree. So let's first take 20, and we will break that down to a product of primes. So we want to decide anything that multiplies to give us 20, um, just two numbers. We could use the shortcut of divisibility by 10 because it ends in 0, so I will use that one. So we would have 10 times 2. So we break it on two branches. If it's prime, then we're done. I usually carry it on 1. If it's not prime, we keep going. So now we're working on 10. 10, we could break down to 2 times 5. And this 2 was prime. On the bottom line, everything is prime. We will usually write it back in order as a multiplication. This is the prime factorization of 20. Now, the theorem that we had said that this is unique. So let's go back and say, all right, if we're going to write the prime factorization of 20, what if we had said 4 times 5? Because those multiply to give 20. And then we would have to keep going. So for 4, we would have 2 times 2. And 5 is a prime. And so we get the same answer. So our prime factorization for 20 is 2 times 2 times 5. In some places you will see that written with exponent notation. Um, a 2, two copies of it, so an exponent of 2 and a 5. Um, I just want you to recognize that as the same. The other form is more useful, so we will use it. Let's get another example. Write the prime factorization of 36. 
So we'll break 36 down. So whatever we think of, that will multiply to give 36. 6 times 6 clicks for me. So I would probably use that, whatever you think of first. And then those are not primes, so we need to keep going. For 6, we could do 2 times 3. And for 6, we'll do 2 times 3. So we have two twos and two threes. Let's do one more example that seems kind of hard. 248, write the prime factorization. Well, there's not anything that clicks for me really fast there because 248 is pretty big. So I would use the divisibility shortcut of 2. It does end in an even digit, so I know there is a 2 in there. So I'm going to break 248 down to 2 times something, and I'll check that on the side. I just divide 2 into 248. Right, so that goes 124. So now I've broken down smaller. 2 is prime, so I'm going to bring it on down. 124, I have to keep going. Well, again, it ends in an even digit, so I know there's a 2 in there. And I'll divide again. So I'm going to do 2 into 124. And that goes 62 times. Right, so these are prime. I'm bringing them down. 62. Well, it's not prime because it ends in an even digit, so I know there's at least a 2 in there. So I'll try one more time. So 2 into 62, and that will go 3, and 2 into 2 will go 1. 31 is a prime. So even though it seemed really big at the beginning, I was able to get to the prime factorization without too much work.